G'day, g'day, comrade subscribers. So, I was going to work a bit more on this power supply, try and figure out what's going on. Um, you can see the rectification happens here. So, we've got basically DC going on to here. So, I was thinking one thing I could do is just connect it up to my lab supply and run DC in, current limited. That way, I can stop going through bloody fuses. But, uh, this arrived, so I thought we'd have a look at this quickly today, and then maybe we can look at this tomorrow. Yeah, so the UMPK R32, 32 being the amount of RAM. Uh, apparently there was also a 16K um, model as well. Same as the as the 86RK, which is what this is basically another iteration of. Membrane keyboard. Um, apparently came out of a town um, in Ukraine, Mukachevo, so it's um, Ukrainian, a uh, Soviet Ukraine. Um, yeah, so JCUKEN keyboard layout, which is what we've come to expect, which also means it's got some kind of unique keys that we don't see on modern uh, Russian keyboards, uh, QWERTY style keyboards at all. So, um, well, up, up, so basically up here we've got two LEDs, Vukl, so that's the power on, meaning on, and uh, Rus, so whether we've got the, um, the Rus or the Cyrillic or the Latin um, character set in use. Um, the simpler ones that I know off the top of my head, Spros, so that's uh, basically a reset key, I think. So if you go back to the um, manual typewriters, I think this would be to reset the tabs, Spros. Whereas obviously on a computer it's like reset the computer. So we've got a tab key there, we've got an AR2 key there. So this is actually interesting because I've been told several things. Um, basically it's, it's alternative register too. So it's kind of like to, uh, like a control key almost. Um, but according, apparently, according to ChatGPT, um, it originally was kind of alternative mode but it's now kind of alternative register. Uh, so uh, stop there, I guess, STP or STR. STR actually, isn't it? Store? Hmm. Why did I think that will stop? Uh, VK for carriage return there. Uh, PS, so that's um, line feed. So obviously carriage return and line feed are separate. Carriage return sends the... Um, sends the uh, the type head back to the start whereas line feed just lo feeds a line uh, we've got ZB here as well so this is um, like a hard space a non-breaking space apparently uh, we've got Rus and Lat there um, US and SS so according to ChatGPT SS was a shortcut key to print SSSR um, that was its original purpose, um, but on obviously that's not really required on on computers, so it's um, actually more of a shift key. And then we've got US here as well, which kind of goes with Spros and Tab, in that it's originally was to set um, to set the tab, um, but I think now it's kind of like a control key. And you've probably noticed <laughs> all of our space keys along the bottom here. Um, yeah, we've got our cursor cluster over here with our um, basically our home home key, I think. F1, F2, F3, F4. And um, yeah, so that's that's the keyboard. Uh, let's see, plastic on the top. Nice metal on the bottom, and we still have our security snot. So that means this computer's never been opened, apparently. <laughs> Unless someone's put the security snot back in and um, tried to uh, reproduce the, the mark. I can't really see the mark. I need to get my loop. Anyway, um, so for ports, We've got an expansion port here. I'm just trying to think. Um, it's very similar to S, 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 
SNK or something like that, or SPK. Very similar to a DIN style port, but the pin spacing is 2.5 mil, not 2.54. So a DIN connector will not fit. It's the same shape, but the DIN connector is just a little bit too wide, unfortunately. Um, we do have a space in here, which is interesting. We'll have a look when we open it up. Uh, that'll be probably magnetophone, so cassette. Then we've got um, RF out for TV. And then we've got the power connector, which is going to be fun. Because it's an 8080 based machine, we need 12 volts and plus minus 5 volts. So we need 3 voltages plus ground. So, um, yeah. Den would have been nice, <laughs> because this is a Soviet well russian soviet connector which i can't get easily in the west but um we'll worry about that later let's try and open it up so it looks like it's just the screws here plus the security snot i'm just trying to see i'll try and have a close-up you guys could probably see it because i can't really see it but i think there is some sort of pattern in there to kind of indicate that it hasn't been opened Let's break it. Okay, so I meant to say that if you were a member of my Patreon, then you would have known that this was coming. So um, you sign up for free, you will get uh, sneak peeks of what's coming. Anyway, so it looks like, okay, I've undone those screws and then we've got these plastic tabs on the side for the top case. So I think we just kind of do that. Or does the whole machine come out? Oh, okay, right. Okay, haven't come across something like this before. Last tab. There we go. Okay, that's off. Okay. I guess you would... Um, Want to protect, protect, protect that, wouldn't you? Okay, so all right, looks like we can take. All right, bring the whole machine out. That's interesting. All right, so the whole top could actually come off. Actually, take the top case off. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. So this can be removed without undoing anything. There we go. All right, we've got another security seal there. This looks like it's just been kind of stuck down onto the top. Okay, so we've got the circuit board then we've got this kind of metal around the side and then we've got the keyboard stuck on top that's interesting interesting design so let's go for it from the top i guess so like i said more security snot there i'll uh, get these screws undone and we'll have a look okay the screws are undone Including this one, which is just stuck there, I think. No, it looks like I have to. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to undo these two nuts as well. It's gonna be too big, isn't it? Yeah, it's too big. All right, stand by. Ah, <laughs> I caught myself before I did this. Undid this too much. I had a little peek. I realised that this is just probably um, maybe an interface that's plugged in. So. There we go. How easy is that? There's the keyboard. Brilliant. Too easy. That's a good design. I like that. Wow. No, look at this. This is well. This is shiny. But um, oh, nice layout. We've got some prototyping area down the bottom there. I don't know if it's been coated in something, but certainly the this one looks like it's been coated. Uh, it's actually, I don't know. Is it, too shiny. I'll have to try and sorry, try and maybe stick my light there or something. I don't know. I need better lights. 
So, well, okay, nice. But this, so pretty much, if you've seen a Radio 86 RK, then you've seen one, you've pretty much seen all of them. They're pretty standard. So let's just cover the ROMs, or the EPROMs. So we've got two EPROMs, which is standard. One will be the monitor, and one will be the, um, the font, or the character ROM. So I think this is the CRT controller. So that'll be the character ROM there probably, and this will be the monitor ROM, um, which can be pulled out. Big UHF modulator can here for the TV output. Again, this I think this is the cassette input, power input, three voltages plus ground. Um, nice keyboard interface there. And then obviously our expansion interface we already talked about. So we're going to have a closer look. It's so shiny. Maybe I'll try that. There we go. Is that better? So let's zoom in. Okay. So we've got our um, interface chips. So 82 Intel 8255 equivalents, whatever they're called. I've done so many Z80 and, and 6502 and 8080. So I can't remember whether they're PIOs or PIAs or VIAs or anyway programmable interface adapters or whatever the, the equivalents are. So we'll have one for the keyboard and one for the expansion interface there, I guess. Um, so we've got a K115IR13. So I think that's a 74198 8-bit um, shift register. I think that's the equivalent of. I'd say we've got, uh, I think it's probably 2K EEPROM. So that'll be looking at the traces, probably character ROM there. Um, 8275 uh, programmable uh, CRT controller, I think. And we've got a K, I'm just trying to read that. Was it K55? Oh, I can't read it. I think K559 IR12. Um, 8212, I think 82, Intel 8212 equivalent, which is a 8 bit IO port or something like that. This is the 8080. CPU, and then we've got an 8257 equivalent, which is the, um, the the DMA controller. Then we've got some general logic down the bottom a bit here, including the RAM. So it's supposed to be 32K, so I'm not sure. I'm normally used to seeing, um, what are they? Uh, is it KR? KR565AU5 or something, which are 64 kilobit. So I have eight of them for 64K. So I'm not sure which these one, what these are off the top of my head. So that would be the DRAM down there. And then we've just got some other general support chips on those two rows there. Um, what else? I'm guessing maybe this will be the kind of cassette interface here. So we'll have an op amp or something to amplify the in, um, signal input from the cassette. I guess, but that's basically it. Um, and I say it's very shiny. There's a very, everything looks like it's been coated. It's got some sort of coating on it, as you can see with the light there. So I um, I quite like this. I don't, I don't know about the keyboard. The keyboard would probably get a bit frustrating, but it's a very simple design. Um, I, I think it's a nice, nice design. Um, yeah, nice, nice little machine. So um, I just got to uh, try and figure out how I'm going to get the um, the three voltages in here. So there is a gap there. I could temporarily run some Ys in through there. Um, obviously, I've got access to the bottom here, so I could maybe. Maybe, baby, maybe stick a DIN socket or replace this with a five pin DIN socket there so that I can just use my meanwhile power supply, perhaps. I'll have to have a think about it. But there we go, that's the, um, the UMPKR32 from uh, Soviet Ukraine. Um, 8080 based DIY machine, well, except <laughs> based on a DIY design. Hopefully that was interesting. Um, I'm, I'm hopeful that this will work. 
it looks pretty simple so um, let's let's see let's see okay bye for now Thank you.